Okay, this is Thursday, November the 19th, and it's Kelly Parks Pampered Chef Party. Yay! Kelly. So, I got another text from Kate, so I've got a couple here. Um, I want to thank you all for joining us. I th want to thank Kelly, most of all, for hosting this. Um, and I, in her host packet, she got one of these, which is our season's best cookbook. Um, this is a great cookbook because we come out with this new every six months and it has about 15 recipes in it and they all have a pretty picture that shows you what it's supposed to look like. And I'm going to kind of be making this recipe tonight. Um, so if you want to get one of these for free, you can host your own party and I'll give you one. Um, but you can also purchase these. They're in the catalog to be purchased. So I asked um, Kelly what products she wanted to see tonight. So I'm gonna try and feature some of those and while I'm actually cooking something, but we're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna send um, Kelly, whoops. I'm gonna send Kelly a picture and she's gonna have three words. She's gonna use three words to describe this um, celebrity. And she picked, these are her favorite celebrities. So the question is who dat? So you are gonna, oh, Georgia, I got your message. Um, so you're gonna guess what, while we're doing stuff here, you're gonna guess which celebrity she's talking about. So go ahead, Kelly. Um I'm sorry. <laughs> I was on my phone trying to get Gail in. I missed what you said. Okay, you, you can give them three clues. You can give all three at once or one at a time and they have to guess who you're talking about without giving the person's name. So I sent you a picture of one of the celebrities and you can use that. So one of the things uh, while we're waiting for that, one of the things that um, Kelly wanted to know about tonight is are enamel cast iron. So we have regular cast iron, it's beautiful, it's great, it works wonderfully, but now this fall we brought out this new enamel coated cast iron. So it is gorgeous, it has this beautiful enamel coating on the inside and a nice finish on the outside. And look at this, this is the Dutch oven and it has the Pampered Chef logo on it there on the top. And I'm actually gonna use this to make a braised chicken on the stove. This can take temperatures up to 500 degrees. And the beauty of it, because of the enamel, it's now dishwasher safe. Super easy to clean. How many of you have cast iron of any kind? Does anybody here have any? It's a very popular way to cook these days because it's heat retention and people like to be able to do it over the, over the campfire and over the grill and all those places. And it can be used on the stovetop, but you always have to wash and dry your um, no soap on regular cast iron and you have to dry it immediately because water and iron create rust. But with this enamel coating, you don't have to. So I'm going to get this started here. And Kelly, and I'm gonna use our garlic infused canola oil in here um, because I love garlic and it's just gonna give some added garlic flavor in here, so I'm gonna start that heating up. And Kelly, do you have three clues for us for that celebrity? Um, I, I apologize, I am so distracted because I'm getting texts for all the people that can't get in and the ones that have left and I'm so sorry. So this actor was- Three words. In three the words. movie. Three words. Three words. Yes. Three words. Yes. Um, <laughs> fences. Um, what? Actor. And. Uh, what was your first word? Fences. I'm bad at clues and glory. Anybody know? 
Kevin Bacon. Nope. No. <laughs> What did she say? Fences? Matthew Broderick. Actor. Fences. Glory. Fences? Fences, actor, and glory. Is this Fences? Matthew Broderick? No. Denzel Washington? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who got that one? Who got it? Kate. Kate? Okay. Kate. I'm going to send you the next picture, okay? This is really secure. <laughs> now, because I, I'm not real great with, with celebrities, I put the names on it, but this one you probably will know, Kate, so it should be no problem. So you get to get okay. the words. And while so I'm, what are you using there? This is our manual food processor. So I threw, I cut up an onion into wedges and I threw it in here and now I'm just going to chop this and I can chop it as fine as I want. It sort of works like our salad spinner, which I'll show you in a little bit too. Okay, Kate, did you get the picture? I, I still did not get the picture. Oh, I just got one. Oh, Katie oh, got one. Okay. I sent it to Kate now. It's her turn. Okay, good. Here's Denzel. Um, and I can only use three words. Yes, three words. <laughs> okay. Um, actor, uh, castaway, coronavirus. Sorry, that was three. <laughs> there are four. <laughs> oh, I know that one. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Yeah. All right, who said that? We did. Okay. All right. George, I'm going to send you guys the next clue, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got to play. Nice picture. And the, Lisa, you can go ahead and play. <laughs> And, and I put the names on because I'm not very good at their names, so. Where's she sending it through? I sent it to you, hopefully you got it. Through texting? Yeah, I sent it to, to Georgia through text. Okay, hold on a minute. All right, so this manual food processor is great for chopping onions and vegetables. One of the things I like to do with it is I like to make salsa in here. So I'll chop my onions, my peppers, put all my seasonings in here. And then at the end, I add the tomatoes and you get a great tasting salsa. Okay. Oh. All right. So, Georgia, you have your picture? Um, yes. yes. Three words. You're gonna have to give me a minute. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Lori. <laughs> Are your moms on? They're saying hello. I have them on FaceTime, so they're oh. not going to be able to participate a whole lot, but they really okay. wanted to be here. So. Oh, I'm glad. I think everybody else gave up. There they are. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Okay. I can't come up. You can't come up with three words? No. How about you? Uh, Google them. How about you, Elaine? Did you think it's of something? My got her. Yeah, Google it. Ah. Uh -huh. oh. oh. Well, I'll help you out. I think, I think Grey's Anatomy, actress. I think that's where she's from. Okay, and wait a minute. I don't know. Let me guess who that one is. Is she in 20, 27 Dresses? No, she played in that one. She played in this country series. 27 Dresses. Yeah, I'm pretty sure totally. she did. I'm not real um, up on that, but that stuff, but I think so. H-E-I. Tell them. Oh my gosh. Her name is Sweetie. Something. Heigl? Yeah. Okay, you're right. It was Grace Anatomy. I forgot she was in Grace Anatomy. 
Hold on. See, I, I'm like thing. so out of it that that's the only thing I can remember. <laughs> Go on her name there and see if it says anything about her. Okay. Catherine Heigl. Who said that? Catherine Heigl. Danielle? Yeah. It's not, it's not Catherine. But you can't, you can't, um, you can't text me, can you, Danielle? No, I cannot. Because we want you to be safe. So who was asking the other day about the garlic press? Is the person on here that asked about the garlic press? Because I'm using it right now. No. Okay. Well, maybe she'll watch it later and she can see it. The garlic press is wonderful. Danielle is on season 17 of Grey's Anatomy. Danielle is on season 17 of Grey's Anatomy. Right. 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 So the garlic, the garlic press, I can put big pieces of garlic in here and I don't have to peel them and I can just press them right through. And then there's this cute little tool that looks like a doll brush and you can scrape it out and I don't ever have to touch it. I just use this tool then to pop it, pop the skin right out of here. I don't even have to peel it. All right, and because I really like garlic, I'm putting three cloves in here. All right, who wants Woo -hoo. to be, who, um, we, can't, we can't text Danielle because she's driving and we're gonna be safe here. Um, so Abby, I'm gonna send you a picture, okay? And you can, um, you can do who that's next, okay? Okay, send it to you, see if you get it. Now, if, if we had smell a vision here, we'd be able to smell the onions and the garlic um, cooking on there. And now I'm taking this chicken and I'm using the lemon pepper rub how many of you know that Pampered Chef has actual um, seasoning? I do. Yes. A yes. lot of people we don't. And I'm always amazed by that. But, um, <laughs> or sometimes I'll say, I want your mm -hmm. onion, onion, or your garlic, garlic. And I'll say, well, that's yep. a different company. That's yeah. not this one. But we do have uh, a garlic rub. And we do have a three onion rub. So we do have some similar things. So I'm going to put this chicken in the Dutch oven now. I'm gonna let it braise in here. All right, so Abby, did you get the picture? I did get the picture. I'm thinking of what- Okay, that's doing. fine. <laughs> I'm glad it came through. That's all. Okay. Okay. Should I say, what do I say? Three words? Three nice words. pictures, Kate. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use one word that was Aunt Kelly's, <laughs> which is glory. Uh, glory Shawshank actor. Uh, you should be able to get this one. Or mom what? and Grammy Gwen should be able to get this one. What? Who, who's an actor? Shawshank and Glory. Uh, Morgan Freeman? Yes. Yeah. Who said Morgan that? Freeman. Kate? Kate. Sorry. We're good. We're good at this game. <laughs> okay. That's good. All right. Abby, where's Brandon? He's, I'm he's gonna downstairs. Send you another one. <laughs> Okay, we have one more. Who dat? She's getting I'm going to tell you something. Talking about seasonings, we now have a subscription service at Pampered Chef, and it's called Taste Buds. Okay, and it just launched in October. And I'm really excited about that. And every, um, it comes the beginning of the month. 
and it comes with a theme. So last month it was essential seasonings and this month it's holiday classics. So what they do is they give you three seasoning packets with um, each one has a recipe to go with it. So this is our cinnamon plus seasoning and the recipe is roasted butternut squash stew. So it gives you the recipe here and then it gives you some um, easy change ups. If there's something in the recipe you don't like, it'll give you some ideas. And um, then the next one is rosemary herb chicken and orzo. And this is the seasoning. What? And the final one this month is herb and onion pork roast. So what's really neat about this is these packets have enough for two to four recipes and they're resealable. So you tear them open and reseal them. And this card that comes with it gives you other um, ideas of what to do with the seasoning. And then there's a link. Hey, Lisa, I can see you now. And then there's, then there's a link that you can go into and find more recipes for these seasonings. So how many of you have like the struggle that goes on that you think, what am I gonna make for dinner because I make the same thing all the time and I'm tired of it and yeah, yeah. So we can all relate to that. So this is, this is an idea to help you with that. It comes out every month. You can sign up for one month just to give it a test drive. You can sign up for three months, which is what I did because I wanted to see what it was like. Or you can sign up for six months and then you can automatically renew or you can cancel at any time. And there's free shipping with, um, with each order. And if you're a past host, it's, there's also a 10% discount. So these three seasonings that I have here, the rosemary, the cinnamon plus, which is sort of like pumpkin pie seasoning on steroids. It's really good. Um, and then the urban onion. Okay, so I have each of these in my pantry. I don't need these. So what I'm offering is the first three people to book a party, you get to pick one of these and I will send it to you. So, and why would you want to book a party? Because you yes, Abby, party. you. <laughs> you want to be like Kelly, right? So you want to have a party. And also when you host your party, Kelly gets a discounted item at your party. Plus she gets an entire year of 10% discount. Oh, yeah. Three of you have a party after the third one, she gets a $50 credit from Pampered Chef after the third party. So it's a great deal. Plus as a host, she's getting free and half price items and she can get up to two items at 60% off this month and next month. So it's, it's a win, win, win hosting a party. It's fun, pretty easy. And right now you don't even have to get dressed or clean your house or make any snacks or anything like that because we're all here virtually and you have to provide your own snacks, I guess. So anyhow, so Abby, you have the next one, right? For who that? I have it, Kate. Oh, um, it. I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, my three words are Goldie Hans daughter. Oh. <laughs> You're tricky. I know that one, but I'll wait a little bit. <laughs> Anybody else know? Lisa. I can't. Dan. Okay, Abby, go ahead. You have to unmute yourself. Weren't you the one that said you need husband? Yeah. yeah. Who said that? Danielle. I did. Okay, very good, very good. All right, that's Hang on. I, I, I am almost to my destination, so give me about five minutes. Okay, that's fine. All right, so one of the things that um, Kelly asked about in Kelly's top five is, this is the tortilla warmer. And it's, it's cloth, but it's made of a material that is safe to use in the dishwasher, in the, well, in the dishwasher too, but in the microwave. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when you use it. Now, I have two different size um, corn tortilla or flour tortillas. So this size, which is just your average um, tortilla, you can slide a couple of these in here. You can put it in your microwave for a minute. I'll show you what happens, okay? Okay, I'm just putting it in for a minute. And I'm going to show you what happens to it. And you also asked about the boil over no more, didn't you, Kelly? 
which is funny because I keep this one in my microwave. I turn it upside down, but this is what you use when you're cooking pasta or something that, or potatoes, um, something that might boil over. What happens is the water, the bubbles push this up because it's concave, they're gonna roll back in. They're not gonna spill out all over your stove, which is something I hate. And if you wanna use it in the microwave as a splatter guard, you turn it over, you put the little flowery looking thing here, on the back side, and then you can lay it over top your food so it doesn't splatter in your microwave. So it really has two different uses and you can throw it in your dishwasher to wash it. It is made of a heavy silicone. So you can just stand it up in your dishwasher and it'll be clean. You can wear it as a hat also. What? You can wear it as a hat. Who said that? Lisa. <laughs> I don't know, it's not very becoming. A rain hat. You can wear it in the rain. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, so I can take this out and it's not hot. I'm not going to burn myself. But can you see the steam coming off of here? I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's really, really hot. Like really hot. Um, let me get my tongs here. I don't know where I put them. Oh, here. Okay. So these are very hot and very pliable now because they've been warmed in the microwave. So what do you do when you have really big ones like these? These are more like a burrito size. So what you do is, if I can open these, what I do anyway is when I pretend I'm at Chipotle and I'm making a burrito, I take it and I fold it in quarters like this and I slide it in and then I can do the same thing. One minute is plenty of time for these to be hot and soft and wonderful. And it's not just for tortillas. So what else do you think you could use this for? Any ideas? How about if you have dinner rolls and you want to repeat them? You know, you could use it for that. Um, I'm just going to turn this chicken around here a little bit. So dinner rolls are great for heating up in there. I hate when you put something that's bread in the microwave and it turns to like rubber when you're using, when you're getting it out. And that's just, it's so annoying. But I want to show you one of my very, very favorite products, and that is our deluxe air fryer. And I don't know how well you can see it, but I'm going to plug it in. And I actually have some little mini potatoes here, and I'm going to stick them in here on roast. And there's two trays that come with it. And I'm going to put that for 10 minutes. And we'll let them roast in there. All right. What it, you can do several different things with the air fryer. You can do a rotisserie chicken. I love rotisserie chicken. It's so crispy on the outside, moist in the middle. You can buy them at Walmart. You can buy them at Giant or Wise, you know. And I used to love to do that. Well, now I just buy my chicken. Buy a small chicken, a four, four and a half pound chicken. And I can use, I can use this bit here and I can put it in the rotisserie part of the, of the air fryer and for about an hour and it just comes out beautifully. I season it on the outside and it's great. Um, another thing that we have is this basket. Oh, Danielle is back. We have this basket, um, great for um, French fries or things like that that you can put in here. And again, it goes on the rotisserie part so it'll turn and get it evenly cooked. Those pieces all come with the air fryer. But now we have a new set of things. And this is our skewers for kebabs. There are eight different skewers on here and they snap in here. I've done kebabs before and I hated them because they were such a pain to do. These are so simple. You slide all your food on here and you make sure it's all the same size so that it's like evenly, cooks evenly and you put them in the hole here and then you just snap them in 
and they're in here and they're ready to go. And again, you put it on the rotisserie part of the air fryer and they rotate the whole time so they're cooking evenly. And it's just wonderful. The racks that I have the potatoes on, they can go in the dishwasher. All these other pieces can go in the dishwasher as well. The only thing that can't is the drip pan at the bottom because that has a nonstick coating on it, but it works beautifully. Okay, I can smell my potatoes cooking. I can smell my chicken cooking. Now I'm gonna add some other things to this so that we can have this cook. All right, I'm gonna turn that down. Um, I wanted to show you a couple other things quickly. I did post in the party that you have a choice. If you have an, uh, an order of $80 or more, you get a free gift and you get to choose the gift. So the gift is one of these teak wood tools. So we have the spoon or the corner spoon and you see it's rounded here and it's got a corner here. And then you've got the spatula and all of mine are well used and well loved. Um, so you get to choose that with an order of $80 or more. And you also get um, free shipping if your order is $150 or more. And now you might say, well, I'm not planning to spend $150. I understand. But maybe you have a couple of you want to go together and you can put your order in together and get free shipping. All of the, um, all the orders will get processed as soon as you submit them and they ship within five days. They come right to your door. So Kelly doesn't have to do any delivery, which is so nice. And it makes it nice for you because you get this box at your door and you, you know, you feel like Amazon just came, but it was Pampered Chef instead. So it's perfect. Uh, let's see. Oh, Kelly wanted to see the salad spinner. So I have the salad spinner here and I have spinach that's gonna go in with the chicken. So I've, I've rinsed the spinach in that bowl and there's actually another bowl that comes with it as well, a smaller one. So what do you think you would do with the smaller bowl? If you know the name of this product, it kind of gives it away. Put berries in it. Yeah, you put berries in it. So when you do berries in here, you don't want berries to go flying around real long. So we just do a couple of pumps, but with something like spinach or lettuce, you can pump this a number of times and then you hit the brake and it stops and there's water in the bottom here you see that? and the spinach is dry. So it's a great way to clean your lettuce and your vegetables. You can spin them around in here. And there's one, I always say our products are not gadgets, they're tools because you can use them for more than one thing. So what else do you think you could dry in here? It's going to be non-food related. Just think about it. You might think of it. If you don't think about it, I'll tell you. Okay, so I'm going to add some broth and some wine to this. And I'm going to add some thyme and some Dijon mustard. I know that sounds odd, but it tastes really good in here. And then I'm going to add some flour. Okay. Is this your dinner for the evening? Um, it's my dinner for my son when he gets home from work. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't eat this late. It's too late. But anyway, um, the air fryer just beat because it's halfway done. So if you had two racks, two shelves in there with food on them, when it beeps, it tells you to switch them around so you can go halfway through. Otherwise, you can just walk away. You don't have to worry about it. It won't go any longer than you have it set. And um, I wanted to show you another piece of the enamel cast iron so you could see it on a smaller scale. This is our two and a half quart um, casserole dish. So it's a beautiful enamel coating. And then you see the finish on the outside. This is great now. You have to note that if you have this on the stove top or in the oven, these handles are gonna be hot. You need to have hot pads for it. But it looks beautiful on the table because it's such a beautiful pan as well. So, um, Kelly, what am I missing that you had asked about? I know I probably don't have everything out. Oh, I know. Let me look here. I know. How many of you love to bake at the holidays? Okay, we have a bunch of baking pans that came out with last year. They have this beautiful coating on the bottom. 
So they're different sizes. This is the mini loaf cake. You get eight loaves out of here. Um, my favorite in here is banana bread. I don't know why, it just, and I don't even eat that many bananas, but they always go bad and then I have these brown bananas, so I gotta use them up, so I make banana bread. And I use Joanna Gaines recipe from Magnolia um, and with a little bit of chocolate chips in it. But it works beautifully, they come out nicely, and this is just one of our um, many baking pans. We have waffle stick pan, we have mini pies, mini muffins, um, so those kinds of things. So was there something else you thought of? The yeah. rocker crock. Oh, the rock crock, yes. Oh, you know what, rock I have it right here. Yeah. <laughs> I have it right here behind me, don't mind. Okay, all right, so. The rock crock has been out for a couple of years now, and we have several different sizes. This is the everyday pan. They all come with what we call a look and cook lid because it's, it's glass, you can see right through. This is the everyday pan. So it's about two and a half quarts. You can use this on the stove. You can use it in the oven, under the broiler, in the microwave, or on the grill. So it's very versatile. And then we have a slow cooker um, that is a piece that you set the rock crock in. Um, so the Dutch oven and the everyday pan fit in the, in the slow cooker. Um, it works beautifully. In fact, I'm gonna use the Dutch oven on Thanksgiving for my filling. Cause I don't stuff my turkey. I just cook it separately and I like to cook it slow in a slow cooker. So that's what I will do with that. So it has three settings. It has warm, low and high. So you can do three different ways. That, and it's super easy to clean and they're dishwasher safe. So they're not nonstick. Um, and you want to just put lightly, put oil on them. Do not use a cooking spray. I don't recommend that at all because cooking spray is going to leave a residue and then it's very difficult to clean. It may, it may keep your food from sticking, but it's going to be very difficult to clean. So we recommend you just use some kind of oil, olive oil or some other light oil. And look at that baby. She's getting a lesson, or he, she, she is getting a lesson on Pamper Chef right here with us. Yeah. yeah. Her first cooking lesson. Yeah. Start her young. Start her young. Right? Um, I'm hoping that these potatoes, I want to show you something. Um, one of the things I want to tell you is that we have had a phenomenal year at Pampered Chef. Uh, with the quarantine and everything, everybody's cooking at home, or more people are cooking at home, I should say, and people are looking for tips and tricks to be able to cook at home and they need the tools. And so we've had a phenomenal year. Our products are going out of our distribution center like at incredible speed. And, and several months ago, it was taking eight weeks for things to ship out. So I'm happy to say, we're down to five days. It's back to our normal. I'm thrilled with that because it was very painful to tell our customers that it was going to take eight weeks. But I want to show you a new tool we brought out. Now, how many of you have a drawer with tools in it and you can't open the drawer? Does anybody have a drawer like that? You go to open it and it like, yeah, we've all got those drawers. Well, one of the, one of the product, one of the tools that is the culprit for that is this. Okay, it's a potato masher, you know, and it's not flat, so it's going to catch on the drawer every time, and it's so annoying. They came up with this great idea. So check it out. Look how high, it, and I know I'm short, but look at this. Look how tall this thing is, and look how big the head is. I mean, that's definitely going to get stuck in your door, but guess what? You just squeeze this together, and now it's flat. Okay, and then when you're ready to use it, now listen, it, it snaps. See if it works. Of course, it's gonna make you look stupid. It won't. Do you hear that? I'm gonna try it again. I don't know, maybe you didn't hear it. But anyway, it snaps in place. And when it snaps in place, it's there. Like it's not gonna come apart. Now I'm gonna show you something. Cause I'm gonna use these potatoes as an example. Now let's hope they did what they were supposed to do. I always tell people, 
when I show you something like this, I, you have to remember that my, it says pampered, not perfect. Okay, so I either look pampered or it keeps me humble. Okay, so, well, they're starting to do it. But what, what I'm gonna do with these now is I'm gonna make smashed potatoes with them. So I'm gonna take this masher and smash them. But I tell you what I do, and I don't have that to show you tonight, but I don't make mashed potatoes on the stovetop anymore. I use our quick cooker, which is our pressure cooker. You may have another brand called an Instant Pot, whatever, but you can make five pounds of potatoes, cut up your potatoes, put it in there with a cup of water or a cup of broth, whatever you wanted to use for eight to 10 minutes in the, in the quick cooker. And you will be able to mash, use this to mash your potatoes, add your butter, your milk, your seasoning, whatever you're gonna add, make your mashed potatoes, put the lid on, it'll stay warm. You haven't had to worry about it cooking out on your stove and it's there and it's ready and it's one less pot on your stove or in your, in your um, oven that you have to worry about when you're making a big meal. And I love it. I don't cook mashed potatoes on the stove top anymore. It's just, you know, it's just one of those things. So anybody have any questions? Everybody's so quiet all of a sudden. What is up with that? One thing I'm going to do with this chicken yet is I'm going to take this um, spinach and I'm going to put that in there. Now, when this is all done, I will take a picture and I will post it on our group so that you all can see it. Um, there's another thing that I could do with this spinach, with this recipe, I mean, and that is use one of another one of our subscriptions. We have what we call enrichables. So it's ways to enrich your food. Um, so they have more nutrients and so on in them. So we have one called kale and fiber, which every scoop of this is, um, is gonna equal a half a cup of kale and two grams of fiber. So I could add that right now to that chicken dish and that will make it as though I put kale in plus the spinach. Or this one is called pea protein. And for every scoop, it's 2.5 grams of protein. So if you have picky eaters in your house, you can add this, these, both of these, to anything from smoothies, to pancakes, to pasta, to um, ground meat, to cakes, brownies. I mean, they'll never know because it doesn't change the flavor, but it enriches the food. And you can get these as a one-time, they come now in these resealable pouches. So you can get a smaller pouch, which this one is, um, 24 servings. This is the larger one and it's 48 servings. Um, and it comes with a little cute little scoop in it. Actually, it came in the box and I almost didn't see the scoop because it wasn't actually in this and I almost threw it away. But, oh, you're going to get this open. Okay. So I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, here's the cute little scoop. And you see the kale and fiber is green. It is green um, and it smells like kale. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like kale. Don't shoot me. I eat very healthy, but I just don't like kale. I've tried it. I've tried it with bacon even. I've tried every way that people tell me to have it, that it's gonna be good. That and Brussels sprouts. I just saw another recipe that looks so good for Brussels sprouts, but I'm afraid to try it because it's gonna waste all the other things in my recipe, but I do like this so I can add this too and then I feel like I'm having kale and I know I probably am the worst person in the world for not liking kale but I'm going to admit it I eat a lot of other good things so anybody here going to admit they don't like kale oh my mom right. hates you, kale. Know. you don't like it either Abby I do my mom is sitting here on the phone saying she didn't like it either <laughs> oh tell her I'm with her <laughs> I'm with her. I've tried. I've tried to like it. But that that um, Enrichables is great for it because I can get it without actually eating it. All right. So I'm looking at my list here. I think I almost covered everything. There's one more product I wanted to tell you about. People always ask me, what's your favorite product? And you know, what I love about the Pampered Chef is that every six months, 
we get new products and it changes. And I wanted to tell you something earlier and I, did, I missed my opportunity, I think, is with all of our products selling so well, we are now on real-time inventory. So let's say you go into the party link, you, you set up your cart and you go in to try and put some things in it and you click on something and it says it's temporarily unavailable. I'm sorry. But tell, go in. My suggestion is go in after the party's over tonight. Don't go all the way through, but log in, create an account, set up your cart, start putting things in it, and I should be able to see it. And if there is something that you really want and it's not available today, please tell me because I can watch for it and it may be available tomorrow and I can add it to your cart. I had somebody last week had two things they really wanted. Neither one of them were available. And just last night, I went in, put the numbers in, and they were available, and she was able to get them both. So please let me know, because it's possible as things come and go, they may be available. But there's one product that's always available, and that product is our apron, because it's our Pampered Chef business. And I just briefly tell you, because I think I've talked long enough tonight. Oh my goodness, yes. Anyway, well, we didn't start on time, right, Kelly? <laughs> um, so here's the thing. I started with the Pampered Chef 17 years ago. I didn't have any products except a scraper and a spoon rest. I wanted the food chopper. I wanted some stoneware. And I needed some income. I needed to replace some income. I am a single mom. I was widowed 23 years ago. And I needed something that was flexible, that worked around my kids' schedule. Danielle, did you say somebody coaches soccer in your family? Sorry. You muted. Yeah, um, all of my kids did for a long time. I actually used to be the coordinator for Mifflin County Soccer Club. <clears throat> and cool. um, I also had a full-time job and I was the service unit manager for Mifflin Juniata County Girl Scouts for many years until just this year. Wow. And now I have no kids in the house, so. Yeah, that's a different feeling, isn't it? Well, my my youngest son played soccer from the time he was seven all the way through college. Um, he's now living at home in my basement because he just graduated from college and he's running his own soccer business. So all the time that I put into, you know, all that, I could still do my pampered chef besides running all over creation to different states, different areas, whatever for soccer. I was blessed to be able to do that because I had this business that was flexible and I could do it from anywhere, especially now when we do virtual. Um, and so I, in the beginning, I thought I'm just gonna get new products. I'm gonna try it out, get some new products, and then I'm gonna say goodbye. Well, August, it was 17 years. And I always say, if I stop having fun, I'm gonna quit. So either I don't know how to quit or I'm still having fun. You can take a guess whichever you think it might be, but I am still having fun. And one of the greatest things about the business, besides the fact that now I have the best stock kitchen in central Pennsylvania, because it's almost all pampered chef and most of it I got for free. But the other blessing besides the income and besides all the products is all the people that I've met. Um, I, you know, my hosts, my guests, people that I would have never met if it hadn't been for pampered chef. And to me that as a people person, that's a huge blessing. So I need to tell you that you have the opportunity, just like I did. You know, it's it's not just for me. I'm I'm nothing special. Anybody could do this job. And what we have is we have three different kits that you can choose from. And I had my catalog here somewhere, and I don't see it right now. But anyway, um, you can choose from one of our three kits and give this business a test drive. We don't ask you to marry the pampered chef. We don't ask you to you know, commit a lifetime to it, but we ask you to take it on three dates, okay? Or three times to test drive it. You know, we give it a test drive. Oh, there, Kelly, thank you so much. I'm gonna hire you. So those are the three kits. The first one is $99 and it's over 400. The middle one is over $700 in products and it's 159. And the biggest one, which includes the air fryer, is $229, which is about the price of an air fryer, and it's worth over $1,100. So it's, it's an amazing opportunity just to give it a test drive. 
it's not a long-term commitment. Um, and the, the beauty of it is everybody has a different goal. I had a certain goal when I started, my goals have changed, but when somebody wants to give the business a test, I always ask them, what's your goal? What's your reason? What's your why? Why do you want to do this? I can help you reach your goal, but I'm not going to create your goal for you. It's yours to do. And so it's a, it's a fun interaction. You get a chance to try it out. You get those products. They're yours forever. We don't have pampered chef police that come around and collect your products. If you don't, you know, stay with it for a year or whatever. Um, that's not so the way it Lisa, is. Lisa, you should do it. Lisa. <laughs> Me. Yes, <Yeah>. Lisa. <laughs> Who's that? No. No. Lisa would be very good at doing that. Ah, oh, we need to talk, Lisa. And Stacy's daughter actually did do it. I'm retiring next year. I don't want to work anymore. That's why you should do it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the beauty is you don't even have to leave your home for this. You know, it's it's here, Kelly. Have some tea. <laughs> you know, it, it, to to keep your mouth. Your tea shut. is so good. <laughs> he just wants you to be quiet, Kelly. I think. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> hey, but seriously, I if you have any questions, if anybody has any questions right now, I'd be happy to answer them. Or you can text me or message me or email me or call me, whatever. Um, and, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. I do not put pressure on you. I just want to offer the opportunity because I don't know your situation. I don't know if, you know, at the end of the month, there's more month than there is money, or if you just need something that's just for you, just for fun, or, you know, whatever your, whatever your reason is, um, I'd be more than happy to help you. And um, so that's, that's about it. Um, I'm going to upload this and try and post it tomorrow morning. And so we will, you'll be able to look at this again and scroll through and see some of the different things. I'll take pictures of the food so that you can see how it turned out when it's all done. And I'll make my son, sometimes I make my son load his plate and then I say, wait, I got to take a picture. And, <laughs> and you can guarantee he's 25 years old and guess what he does? He rolls his eyes at me, but that's okay because guess what paid for all his soccer all these years? Camper chat. So anyway, hey, thanks Kelly and thanks all of you for joining us. And Thank you. Uh, I hope you had a good time. And I think that Abby and Kate are my prize winners. I'm not sure, but anyway, some of you will be getting some special things for the who's that game. Mm -hmm. So thanks for joining in and thank you. Uh, thank you everyone for coming. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Hey, thanks, thank you. guys. See you all. Mm -hmm. Bye now.